I'm John Oliver. Thank you for being with us. Uh, let's start this evening with a quick recap of the week, uh, beginning with Japan. Earth's pervert uncle, which <laughs> this week announced a major policy shift. And in Japan, the government has changed its pacifist military policy for the first time. In more than 70 years, it will now be able to use military force to defend other nations. Wow, that, that is a major shift. But I think the bigger news here is that apparently Japan has had a policy of pacifism for nearly 70 years. <laughs> Suddenly, all the repressed anger in their cartoons makes a lot more sense. <laughs> oh. OK, uh, we still can't fight any wars? Fine. Uh, here's another cartoon of a schoolgirl covered in blood. <laughs> in fact, many Japanese citizens were extremely angry about this policy shift, taking to the streets in protest, waving signs depicting their prime minister <laughs> as Hitler. And I tell you who I feel sorry for there, Tojo. He must have been going, oh, come on! You needed a mustachioed World War II war criminal at a Japanese protest, and you go with Adolf? I attacked Pearl Harbor! What do I have to do to be a shorthand for evil? It's not fair! I earned it! In, in this atmosphere, the Japanese military may struggle to attract recruits, were it not for a secret weapon. A recruitment video featuring one of the members of the Japanese pop group, AKB48. And, by the way, a fun fact about AKB48, they have over 100 members. Uh, there is the cute one, the quiet one, the funny one, the smart one, the 16 giggly ones, the two comatose ones, uh, the glass eye one, the one no one likes, the 23 sassy ones, and the 62-year-old man posing as a 19-year-old girl one. He's my favourite. He's my favourite. And before you make fun of this probably not being effective, just wait until you see how catchy their songs are. That's a catchy song. That is a catchy song. Um, 